So here we were, two people who knew of each other, but didn't know each other. And from the moment we were placed side by side, front row of Capella, I would never be the same because Annie Evans, now Bruza, was in my life. The past year has been amazing. From our pre-date to the World Affair, <laughs> To wine tasting in San Francisco, everything is more fun when you're there. I've never been happier in my life, and I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone else. Even though I knew that there was something special about you from our first date, I could not have known how wonderful our relationship would be leading up to this day. I've fallen more in love with you these past 14 months than I ever thought I could. You are the most wonderful person I know. You are so thoughtful, so smart, so funny, so beautiful, and so kind. You've been so patient and gracious to me in our time together, even when I nearly proposed to you on the first date, <laughs> make you listen to Irish Gaelic music second date, actually proposed to you a week before running off to California, or even take you to Nebraska of all places. You are the most constant, reliable person I know. You always make me laugh or cheer me up when, you have, when I'm having a bad day. You blow me away with your intelligence and attention to detail. Another thing you should know about Mason is that he has a extreme attention to detail. Whatever it is, he will zoom in, laser focus on whatever that topic is. The way I first saw this was in his peculiarities about coffee. Classroom setting, cyber operators, you know, all these military people getting ready to go. And in walks Mason with his French press, freshly ground beans, and a thermometer, the water temperature can't be too hot. What do you think? Do you Beautiful. like my dress? Absolutely. I love you. This is a very solemn occasion, and your presence here does a couple of things. One, it is a testimony that you will agree that this union should have taken place. Second is, I want you to think about the seriousness of your commitment to them, to pray for them, to encourage them, and even counsel them in their life together and they certainly need your participation with them in their life. And so I want to encourage you to not take that role lightly. You look beautiful. It's amazing. Seeing the moving boxes in your room the past few weeks made me realize three things. I'm going to miss having my big sister around. We have created many, many memories from vacations to Starbucks dates. Secondly, the moving boxes reminded me that I still have a few of your clothes in my closet. But you didn't go searching for them, so that probably means you aren't missing them. Too late now. And lastly, I realized that I will no longer be able to use your deodorant like I have been for the past 10 months. You always kept it very convenient for me to grab and use, and you never woke up in time to catch me. I remember when you called me soon after your first date, explaining that you had met a man who goes to your church. He's really smart. He's kind of a nerd. He really likes math, and he sits in the front row, which we discussed was kind of weird. But it's okay, because he wears bow ties. So he must be cool. You told me that your date went really well, and how in a very Mason-like way, when he was dropping you off, he said, don't take this as a proposal, but I want to date you with marriage in mind. And now, look where we are. Many of you did not get a chance to hear the message from the father of the bride last night. It was very moving, reminding us that the husband and wife must also remind themselves that Christ is the center of their relationship. This is a young man and a young woman who are very intent on doing what God wants them to do in Jesus Christ. 
They are very intent on doing the right thing to honor the Lord. So findeth the wife, findeth the good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. I know that I have found a good thing. Love, Mason. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Last thing I want to say is to you guys. I love you both. I've loved seeing you guys grow together, loving each other. I, the night that Mason was like going to go ask you out, I mean, I'd been hearing about this for a little while. I was like, all right, so this is girl at church. Her name's Annie. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, like, you know, like, tell me about her. Uh, I don't really see her that much because I sit in the front. Okay. Like, I'm sure you see afterwards, potluck, something. Uh, but I, you just you described Annie to me, and I was like, I. I knew right away, this was going to be the girl. Uh, this was the girl that he was going to marry. can't wait to begin our life together and to fill it with long talks about theology, Irish music sessions, board game nights, and exploring all of the places we will be able to call home. I love you and I can't wait to see you, your almost wife, Art. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the Church of Christ, I now pronounce you, Mason and Annie, husband and wife, you may now kiss the bride. We may have shared all of these memories and personal items, like deodorant, whether you knew we did or not, but we also shared a last name for our entire lives and often got mixed up because Annie Evans sounds very similar to Abby Evans, and that was always something I liked about us. But as of today, we no longer share that last name, as you have become Annie Bruzzo. But I'm willing to let that go since Mason seems to make you almost as happy as I have made you.